Liam, a few days since the uh, defeat against Featherstone Rovers on our return to the Shea after a few weeks on the road. You've had a few days now to reassess and, and look over that game. Do you think we got what we deserved on the day? Yeah, we uh, we got what we deserved in the first half, and I said it after the game. We can't continue to start games with uh, with a lack of intensity and intent uh, and enthusiasm, um, and and that's if if we keep doing that, we'll keep getting the same results. Uh, it's happening far too often, and we we've been addressing it in, in training this week. And uh, you know we need to come out with some real intent and go after the game on Sunday, um, get our energy up and get our enthusiasm uh, involved in the game um, and hopefully at the same time bring the crowd into it and um, and get a little bit of an atmosphere there which ultimately we, we have to generate first and foremost as players. We spoke a bit about momentum over the, the last couple of weeks where we've sort of struggled to sort of get ahead of the, of the momentum swing. Um, how important is it that we start well on Sunday and really, like I say, stay ahead of the, of the game really? Yeah, as I've just said, um, start to the game has been a massive uh, problem for us, uh, especially in the, in the sort of uh, recent recent weeks. So it's what we've, we've been in, in addressing in training this week, and um, you know, ultimately, if you're chasing your tail week in week out, you're not going to keep chasing scores down. Um, it's a little bit easier to defend a lead uh, than it is to chase one down, um, and we need to be better at that. We saw Matty G lead the field quite early in that. Um, game as well, which will obviously have some impact on your subs and things like that. Any more injuries to report from that, and how much of an impact did it, you know, make on the team losing a back row really early on in the contest? Yeah, it's always uh, tough when you lose somebody uh, early doors in a game, and obviously Matty's been uh, really good in the in the last few weeks, especially, um, and he plays a, a pivotal role in that sort of right side second row. So yeah, we're disappointed to lose Matty and, uh, and obviously failing his head injury assessment, he won't be available this week. But no, um, yeah, it's, it's never easy to, to, to cope with that, but everybody has them and uh, we, we don't make excuses. So we just get on with it and obviously work good enough. Look like we turned a corner in terms of bands and suspensions and injuries, but now some of those creep in as well. We saw obviously Bob and Zach um, pick up bands. How much is that going to affect your squad moving into Sunday's game? Yeah, obviously there. Um, Sunday Bob will be, be available, uh, Zach won't, and, uh, and then for, for the next sort of three weeks after that, and, and, and obviously longer for Zach, they won't be available. So, yeah, clearly it affects you because they, they can't be available. But um, again, we, we're not going to make excuses. Everybody everybody picks up suspensions and injuries, and, uh, you know, we're not going to. There's no point feeling sorry for ourselves. We just need to dust ourselves down and get on with it. People might suggest discipline's been. Lacking in certain week in recent times, anyway. Um, what's been the focus in training this week to try and fix up? Yeah, every, everything's lacking when you're losing. Um, everybody can point to everything: discipline, ball control, um, defense. You point to everything when you're losing. Just like um, the opposite, when you're winning, you can you can hide behind stuff. So yeah, we've got our own focuses that we're, we're um, that we're we're on with. Obviously, I've mentioned one of them being the start of the game, which is a, a key focus. Um, and the other the other areas we'll we'll keep in house and um, and make sure we keep cracking on with um, with doing things that we think can improve our game. Still sitting too close to the bottom of the table for for all our liking. At what point do these games become must win, especially the home games at the Shea? I said after the game at the weekend, uh, after just um, focusing week to week um, for. For the last, well, since the season started, really, that it's it's pretty much now or never. Now we need to get on with it and start winning games because um, you know it's, it's getting on too long. And uh, yeah, uh, and I keep saying it, we're not going to make excuses. We need to start winning.